Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So for today's video, we've got a new setup. We're in the nursery and we are going to be talking about things I've learned as a new mom. How normal bodily fluids get. I knew I was gonna be dealing with poop and pee and stuff like that. But the thing I realized is it just doesn't phase me anymore. Okay guys, so I just came from the dentist and you see the stain right here? I have a bad feeling that's poop. <laughs> um, I had the most crazy story. Like, so uh, we were changing him. We would change him in the car, right? Because a lot of places, some places didn't have changing tables. And if they did, it was kind of a big hassle to like get him all the way out of the car, go into the gas station, get it set up. I'd have to wash it. It was a whole thing. So it was like almost just easier just to change it in the car. And plus all the supplies were there like right next to me. So I would, uh, we had started changing him in the back seat. That was where he was initially getting changed. But then so I would have to keep the door open and stuff like that. So we decided because it's in the winter, let's put him on the center console and change him there. And I thought the first time we did this, I was like, the only negative is if like any bodily fluids that come out, like he pees, poops, anything while we got the diaper open, it's gonna like land in our drink. And I was like, that's for sure gonna happen because the cup holder's right there next to the center console. We get ready to change his diaper. We have him on the center console. We take his diaper off. He decides he's gonna pee. I was holding his legs at the same time. So I had like lifted his legs up at the same time he decided to pee. So he ended up peeing in his face, in his own face. And I felt so awful. I was like, poor baby. Oh my God. Like, it just was the worst timing, like that he just happened to decide to pee when I lifted his legs up to wipe him. So I felt so awful. I'm like, oh my God, my baby. So then I'm like trying to clean him and like wipe his eyes. I'm like, oh my God, it probably got in his eyes. He peed in his own eyes. Anyway, so I was freaking out. And then, um, so that's happening, right? And I'm like, oh my God. So we're like cleaning up all the pee from the center console. And I pick him up and I'm like holding him because my husband's like trying to wash him off, you know, like here, I'm gonna hold him and you wash like his back and stuff because he had, when he peed and went everywhere. Anyway, so we're like, he's washing his back. I had to take a diarrhea right into my cup holder. <laughs> I didn't have a cup in it at the time, but then I was also holding him kind of like this, like under his butt and with him like that. So it first went into my hand and then went through my hand into the cup holder. And I was like, is this my life right now? <laughs> I just have to, like someone just diarrhea in my hand and it went through my fingers and down to the cup holder in my cup. So, that is when I knew I was like, we're just super familiar with bodily fluids here. And this is like my new life, you know, like key time. I was like, things have changed. Things have changed. I feel like I'm just super comfortable with body fluids more than I was. And I work in healthcare, which is sad. So uh, that's one thing I've noticed. Number one, number two thing I did not anticipate was how difficult breastfeeding is. People who are doing it, you are number one, I'm telling you, because it is very difficult. I anticipated there being some difficulty with like, um, as far as being able to continue doing it or like you have nipple soreness, things like that. I kind of anticipated hearing about that just from other moms and reading about it, but I never figured I would just never get him to latch. Like, no matter what I do, he will not latch. And I think some of it's maybe my anatomy. And I'm exclusively pumping, which is another thing. I did not know how much time I would be spending pumping and cleaning pump parts. I spend an obscene amount of time doing these activities. I have outsourced them to my husband as far as not pumping, but I'm cleaning the pump parts because it's just got out of hand. I was like, I just have to spend too much time doing this. I already have to pump anyway and I'm taking care of him. Like at least you can take care of the pump parts. Why does the pump have so many parts? I mean, things I never would have anticipated. And the concern about your supply all the time. Like every time I'm like, what did I do different this time? 
why is it one ounce different like it's just the stress of it is like insane <laughs> like and just so and i am very nitpicky of a person so i'm like okay did i have one ounce more of water do i need to drink a whole extra cup of water like what happened to my supply am i eating the right foods it is just all these things you have to like stress about that you didn't stress about before so that's always fun also how many newborn clothes i needed i kept hearing like you don't need that many newborn clothes they sometimes they don't even fit in newborn size and then you just skip that size and oh they'll be in it for like such a short period of time and it's crazy because i feel like i needed so many newborn clothes first off he blew out of diapers constantly so i was like every day i was just changing him all day long and i'm like if i didn't have an excessive amount of onesies and things like that just i happened to have them i would be sol so I'm happy that I spent the money on getting those newborn clothes. I guess it depends on what size your baby is when he comes out. My baby was uh, six pounds, four ounces. So uh, Ronan, like actually a lot of newborn clothes were kind of big on him. So I lucked out in that way. But at the same time, if I wouldn't have bought so many excess of them, then I would be really screwed because he went through a lot of clothes. Like I was changing him like four or five times a day. So excited, I get about burps poop farts like you don't even understand i spent a lot of my day cheering my baby on because first off positive vibes for him second off um <laughs> i am just like so excited when he poops i'm like all right i'm back you guys my battery died um if you subscribe to my channels that's the type of content you can expect okay so back at it again i can't remember what i was saying um oh how excited i get about poops and stuff like that you guys it's very strange um i am just like oh my god good job you farted good job like normally if you're an adult you wouldn't cheer that on that type of activity on for an adult but <laughs> my baby i'm just excited for him i'm like you know what you have gas you need to handle that and if you do a big burp i'm proud of you good job so you know a lot of positive affirmations for him <laughs> how many noises babies make especially when they're trying to sleep i literally had to ask the doctor like is he is he cool <laughs> is he okay because when i put him to sleep a lot of times it's like so many grunts like <laughs> i'm like are you a pig what's happening i don't know what's going on with him but apparently they just make a lot of noises. So, I mean, I knew like cry and stuff like that, but I mean, as far as like grunts and weird sounds, I was like, I mean, and some of these things you'll realize I haven't been around a lot of babies. So for me, I'm like, is he, like, is he cool? Is he fine? Does he need help? <laughs> like, is something wrong with him? Um, so that's me a lot of times. Is something wrong with him? <laughs> um, also how much holding is involved. So, like, I mean, in my mind, I knew I was gonna have to hold him because obviously he can't sit up and stuff like that. But it's like, during the day, you're just tired because he's heavy and you're like, I'm so worn out. <laughs> my arms are so tired from the holding. And, and then on top of that, he wants to also sleep on me too. So I feel like I'm still holding him because I'm like, hold, <laughs> hold you while you sleep, you know? So it's like, I guess, you just couldn't visualize it till it's happening and then you're like man there's a lot of holding involved and the one thing too like when you want to eat you're like i have a baby <laughs> so either we're gonna have to take turns on eating or i'll have to try to hold you and eat at the same time and it makes things a little more complicated not that he's not lovable but at the same time it's like things you don't think about pre-pregnancy or you know pre-baby how much time i stop him from hitting himself it's like WWE in my house all the time, but except he's hurting himself. And he's just like, psh, 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 psh. I'm like, sir, why are you hitting yourself? Like, and he doesn't, I, I don't think he's got that concept yet that he is the one hurting himself. So I'm like, it's not me doing it. You're doing it to yourself. Like, he's just like, stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. And I'm like, you're hitting you. So a lot of times I'm just like holding him and I'm like, what? <laughs> especially now to like the other day i'll have to show you the picture let's put that up 
yeah, he decided to just go boom in his eye. So I'm like calling my work, like, oh my god, he has probably has a corneal abrasion because his nails, I'm cutting them constantly and they're still always long for some reason. Like, oh my god, he's probably got a corneal abrasion because he just thumbed himself in the eye. Like we were chilling, everything was great. We're just like, yeah, talking, talking, you know, everything was great. Thumb right to the eyeball. And of course, like then death, you know, like right afterward, like and of course I'm like, oh my god, why? Why would you do that? Anyway, um, so yeah, <laughs> just added a new layer of excitement to our day that wasn't there before. Oh, how many times spit up happens? We went so long, like at least a month to two, no, we went like a, more than a month without any spit up, like at all, and I was like, man like i must be really lucky i have this great kid that like never spits up this is wonderful like because you know you always have your burp cloths and i was like ready for spit up to happen and then it didn't happen so i was like wow this is great and then all of a sudden out of nowhere <laughs> we start getting spit up and i'm like what the heck and it was like hard to burp him and then we would get spit up and I'm like, oh my, and then we would burp him and he would still spit up and I'm like, what the heck am I doing wrong? And to the point where I'm like, go to the doctor and I'm like, is something wrong with him? He keeps spitting up and they're like, well, no, that's just, babies do that. You know, unless there's these other symptoms, then this is like a normal baby thing. It's just, that's them. But now I'm like, this is just him. <laughs> just, especially if you're gonna dress them in something nice. I feel like that's just a number one cause for spit up. Like this is just a side effect of nice clothes or something, or you're wearing something nice. You're like, I'm gonna go out and we're gonna go out today. And then it's like, you get vomited on. You're like, cool, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't wanna look good anyway, <laughs> thank you. I needed a Pollock painting on my shirt. Uh, the other thing that surprised me is how I missed being pregnant. It's very weird to me because my husband's like, he's here, he's in your lap right now. What do you miss about, like, why would you miss being pregnant? Now this might not be the same for everybody because if you have like a crappy pregnancy, then you're like, I'm so thankful I'm done with that. But for me, I was, I had like a, a pretty easy pregnancy for the most part and I just missed him I guess like you know it's like he's in your stomach and you feel connected to him and you're always like I felt I mean afterward I would still like hold my belly because I was just it was like that's just what I was doing you know and now it's weird to think like I don't need to do that anymore because he's not in there like let's just protect your belly anyway but I was like he's not in there anymore and you don't feel the kicks and it's like all that stuff you just I don't know I just missed it I was like I know he's here and he can kick me right now and he will <laughs> because he's very kicky but it's just a different like a different thing I don't know it's just like you miss that time um especially if it was a good time you know like I like I said I didn't have morning sickness I had a very pretty normal pregnancy without a lot of symptoms and it was just really easy going which it might not be next time <laughs> but that I just missed being pregnant I was like man I'm just so sad that I'm not pregnant anymore even though he's here and I'm happy about that it's just I missed that so that's something I really didn't anticipate like right when I went for my first checkup I was like crying in the parking lot because I was like I just miss being pregnant anyway and I was like I just miss him being in my stomach anyway um, how long it takes to leave like it takes us so long to leave like the <laughs> I feel like we have a system and it still takes us so long to leave like formula and water and make sure that we have a bottle of breast milk and all this stuff like we're just trying to be extra cautious make sure we have the right size diapers because last time we went out was he wearing a two now he's wearing a three i don't know let's check so you gotta do all that stuff you get all that stuff you gotta get the car seat out you gotta get the car seat straps pulled out all the way so you can put the baby in them and put them in the straps we need to go anywhere if we have to go somewhere especially if we're gonna be gone for like longer than two hours we're gonna definitely need like two more or more hours to get prepared <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> like just, and like that's even with some pre-prepping, like having the diaper bag relatively stocked at all times. Yeah, just a constant. So that's the thing that still shocks me. And I like knew it was gonna take longer than just obviously you going by yourself, but 
it's ridiculous oh my gosh this one bothers me so much and i didn't i guess i just never knew this happens um and maybe i'm special in this i don't know but how much i smell postpartum it bothers me so much so no matter how much showers i take no matter how much deodorant i put on i always smell it's so annoying <laughs> like just ridiculous and so i i looked into this because i'm like am i just a, a weirdo like i don't remember smelling like this when i was pregnant so like what's going on apparently what i find from dr google is that you can smell postpartum because your baby needs to find you so your baby you have this atrocious smell apparently and your baby's like mm, i smell trash there's my mom so because they don't have great vision but <laughs> i'm just like that's what he knows of me i smell like garbage there she is <laughs> and he doesn't mind which i feel awful for because he always wants to cuddle and like near my boob which i mean some of that's because of obviously him wanting to breastfeed and like that being a natural thing but I'm like, you're literally near my armpits and my armpits are rancid. Why is this a thing? Like, I get it to an extent, but it doesn't have to be that extreme. I don't know. I don't think it has to be that extreme. I mean, I literally smell like trash. It's terrible. Being beat up. I swear to goodness, I have been beat up so much from this kid. And I'm like, you hate me? I don't understand. Because literally I'm trying to hold him and if he's like trying to get food i'm literally being clawed to death i should have named him edward scissor hands it's literally like like this it's like a rabid dog all the time that or your hair getting pulled and being head butted it's literally like a wrestling match at my house all the dang time it's like boom boom like fighting these hands i'm like trying to catch hands all the time it's ridiculous is a constant battle up in here i'm just like fighting for my life <laughs> so ronan and i here from editing me i was just looking at the video and i just want to make sure that it is clear like these are just things that i'm experiencing um but it's not meant to be like oh my god i hate motherhood or anything like that so Bye. i mean i feel like that's clear i feel like moms always have struggles and just things they discover and it's kind of like funny little things you think about without it being like i hate my kid or anything like that i hope that's clear like i don't know i just so you know like i've been on like mommy like vlogs and stuff like that and like reading comments and stuff and it makes me like paranoid now that like people are gonna hate on everything but emphasis on why i don't want to be a mommy vlogger even though i'm doing that stuff right now um but i just wanted to like share that comment there because i'm like i hope this doesn't come off that like i don't like being a mom it's just funny things that you don't think about until they're happening and you're like oh this is like my new life now like things that you never thought would be happening or um just like weird things that with motherhood but anyway um just wanted to share that and i just want to add that commentary in just in case it wasn't clear hopefully it's clear okay all right bye you know if you're going through these things then realize that other people are out here doing the same thing but uh i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you guys are having a great day if you uh, like this content feel free to hit like that way i know um and we can make more videos all right bye guys